Hey what's up guys this is over here welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about shopkeeper it's a plugin which basically contain villager and the villager acts as a shop so we have multiple villagers and multiple shops about five of them actually so we have buying selling trading and bookshop and the final one which is admin shop so the first four shops only a player can set them up while the last one which is the admin shop only the admins can set it up because it has different stuff so let's get started with the basic configuration on making an, a normal shop okay guys so now we're in game so we're going to be talking about setting up a normal shop and i'm going to be starting off with the buying villager so let's go set it up right away so you want to place the chest okay you want to go in survival because if you're in creative it's not going to work and you need a shopkeeper egg basically so how do you get it <clears throat> you type in here slash shopkeeper give and it gives you a shopkeeper egg so in order to choose what kind of shop you want you right click in the air and select it let's go with the buying shop and you can also select what kind of npc a player buy from so you want to sneak right click as well so you have a lot of types of, like it's like every single animal i believe in this game so let's go with a cat for example you want to right click to select the container and right click again to put it here we go and now you want to since it's buying you want to add some items inside your chest so i'm going to be putting stone and emerald so let's just say if a player has one stone i'll give him one emerald and he gives me one stone that's how it goes so if you right click the cat basically or the npc it opens this thing if you want to configure it you have to sneak and right click it and here we go we have a barrier and a stone the barrier is the currency we you can set up the currency in the configuration which i will be doing in this video so let's just say one stone if the player has one stone i'll give him two emeralds and that of course depends on what kind of uh, the block you want and how much you will give him for it that's how it goes so if he has six stones i'll give him two emeralds and you can change the name of the shop as well so let's name it buying cat for example here we go and you have let's try it right now so i have 64 stones so let's put it in here and as you can see it takes away six stones and it gives you two emeralds so let's configure it again so what do we have we have the sitting pose you can change it it's this plugin is really awesome to play with and the die of the cat and these are some basic stuff you guys could probably pick up really easy but yeah that's the basic idea about it so let's talk about selling shop now okay guys so now i'm going to be setting up the rest of the villagers basically i did the same procedure as the last clip where i made the buying cat over here so we have a selling villager and the big boy trader yes and we have a bookseller so let's get started right away with the selling villager so let's open the chest you put the items that you want to sell and you don't have to put emerald because the player is the one who's gonna be paying you this time okay so let's sneak right, right click oops that's a book sneak right click and we have a chest and this time you have two currencies that you can use so we have emerald and you have emerald block so you play with the price that's totally up to you and that's about it for this one so let's try to buy i don't have a oh man i'm so dumb okay let's try to buy this time here we go it's working well let's talk about the trader the big boy so you basically trade some items inside of here and since he's blocking my chest i have to open the chest from this inventory so a stone for example and some chests so these are the items that i have now in the trading section i can put what items do i want for these items so i'll explain it in a second so for example let's say i have uh, five stones and one emerald so if a, if a player has one emerald i give him five stones and for a chest let's add a book for example so for one book i give him one chest that's how it goes so let's open it one book one chest here we go so that's about it for this big boy now you can leave okay and this and the final one is the bookseller so i already have my book it's called sd so let's open this chest put it inside and then let's talk to him yes 
and let's see here we go so this is the item you can add the price now and yeah you basically sell books <laughs> okay so let's move on okay so for the final one and the big boy the shopkeeper so in order to spawn an admin shop you type in here slash shopkeeper because he's the shopkeeper the big boy so let's open this one and you can add any item for any price you want so i have a chest over here i could add an emerald a book and that's the price for it okay so you can configure it just like the rest of these so let's change some stuff in it and you know you can play with it so yeah so let's talk about configuration okay guys so now we're going to set up our config so you open it and i suggest you download notepad plus plus i'll leave this thing down below in the description if you want to use it so we're going to uh, shopkeeper compatibility so this is the enable spawn verifier so it verifies if the shopkeeper or the npc is here or not so if you have problem with the shopkeeper disappearing i suggest leave it in leave it on true but i don't have any problem so i'll just leave it on false and this is why pass spawn blocking so for example you have a plug like a uh, clear lag if you if you've heard of it before it removes uh, mo mobs for example like zombie and in this plugin you could choose what type of npc so you may encounter some error so i would suggest leaving it on true okay and this is the check check shop interaction so if enabled shopkeeper take into account whether or any plugin interact with shopkeeper I'd, I'd say leave it on force but if you have a lot of plugins yeah i say put it on true so you prevent any kind of error which may happen okay so let's scroll down we're looking for this one and i played with it here because i've recorded this before so in game we type says shopkeeper give it gave me a spawn villager item so i set it to lapis block but you could play with it you can set it to whatever item you want and if you want to know the specific id you could go for example in here and let's set it back to uh, spawn egg okay you could play with it freely but yeah let's continue um we're going to talk about the gravity so let's scroll down to gravity as you can see on screen basically mobs have a gravity or npc so it's usually on falls so if it's on falls as you saw in the video the player falls uh, the npc falls my bad so if you set it on room the npc will not fall and this is the gravity chunk range just leave it on four no problem and let's talk about the name templates so when you hover over a villager it shows his name so if you want to close that you just set this one to false but i'll leave it on true and this is the allow show name template so it's on false currently so you will not see the npc name unless you hover over it and if you set it on true it's gonna always appear like wherever you are basically and this is the name uh, the prefix it's and a basically the color and yeah so let's continue scrolling down we want to go to the currency so i've played with the currency as well i'm sorry uh, give me a second Ember. okay let's save it for a second so this is a currency item so in game we used emeralds right you could change it in here maybe set it to diamond and you can use the uh, minecraft id list it's gonna help you out a lot to stay precise and prevent any error okay so this is the zero currency item if you don't want the player to pay it's basically a barrier you can change it but i'd say leave it on barrier because you don't have to okay and now if you want to disable by the way the high currency which is this one you type in here air and it's displayed in here okay so air is basically the no item if that makes any sense but if you do want to set it you can feel free whatever you want so this is a diamond block for example okay so the rest of these stuff are just some messages you can change them but i it's it's gonna take you a while and it's not that useful anyways and yeah since i forgot in the video so i forgot to talk about the max player shops per player it's currently on zero so you could play with it freely if you want a player to have like one shop only for example or maybe two or three it's up to you setting it on zero basically makes it unlimited and this is the max container distance 
it's basically the maximum distance a player can put between another NPC if that makes any sense you could just leave it on 15 it's kind of fine okay and yeah so yeah I talked about some of the important configuration and if you guys need any help just tell me down below and I'll leave the discord for this plugin down below if you want to reach out to the owner and stuff like that so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye